Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cricket 19 Career Mode. We're carrying on with the Caribbean Premier League here. We're playing for the Trinidad and Tobago Wheelers. This time we're up against the St. Kitts and Nevis Nationals. Uh, we've got a record of 1-1. One and one. Um, The Nationals have got Kane Williamson, Evan Lewis, uh, Sheldon Cottrell. So they've got some big, some big players. Uh, so we'll have to be wary of them. And uh, hopefully we can improve that record and make it 2-1. We've done pretty well with the tosses. Uh, I think we've won every single one, I think, so far. Well, we've only played two games. Um, and there we go. Just as I say it, commentator's curse, we lose the toss. So what will the Nationals decide to do? And they're going to have a bowl. I'm not sure why the text goes so tiny. But they're going to have a bowl. Um, so they're going to have to set a score here. And then hopefully our bowlers, including us, can defend that. So we've got a decent start um, from our kind of top order there. We're 81 for two in in the, what, 13th over. Markram, who I believe is South African, I think. Markram is South African. He's on 54 or 50. So he's batting well. He's well set. Uh, we lost uh, Hill and Bravo for 16 and 11. So they didn't go on to get too big a score. That was a wide. Got to be more clever with those ones. Um, and kind of just let them slip down the uh, yes. slip down the leg side. Maybe we'll get two for this one. No, just a single. And uh, just as we've come to the crease, we've we've uh, we've lost Markram, I think. Yeah, we have. So Monroe's at the crease now. He's got nine off eight, so he has hogged a bit of the uh, bit of the strike. Uh, that's a wide. We can just let that one go. That one's gone a mile up in the air. Maybe it will be caught. But no, it's beaten the man. Oh, what a shot that was. <laughs> it was just outside the off stump from Shamsi. And uh, we just spanked it. We've only got five overs remaining. So, uh... If there's any time to go, now's the time. We dive, but it wasn't, wasn't the best throw. And we move to 11 off 5. And um, I do like this space here outside. Ooh. Just timed it slightly late. But uh, yeah, I do like this space here. Um, we'll hopefully try and beat this space here if he's too straight. This one might be caught. And it is. So we tried to hold it out. We didn't think it would be worth just knocking it around now with just a couple of overs left. He was bowling a lot of full Yorkers. So we're called into bowl. We'll just have a look at what we did post. We posted 163. So Monroe went on to get 44. And uh, Lynn got 25 off 13. So it was a right choice to start hitting then. Because um, we might have just knocked the ball around. And not actually got too many runs. But our team needs us bowling wise now. Hopefully we can take a few wickets. There, Kane Williamson's at the crease, and uh, and Sano Ambris. so both good quality batsmen. Oh, there was no run in that. Could have easily got run out there. Oh, how's that? Did it straighten enough? No. Uh, is it worth a challenge? Probably not, but uh, I think it's Kane Williamson, so this might be pro possibly a, a poor challenge. Let's have a look here. I don't think there was any bat involved. This in slow motion will probably show possibly how... Nah, this is going to go. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not too bad. It may just be missing... Maybe missing leg, but maybe it's not as... Uh, Maybe it's not as wide as I thought. I'm not sure why they're looking at hot spot. I don't think it hit the bat. It's miles away from the bat. It's uh, hit him on the kind of top of the thigh roll. If, if anything, I think the... Oh, I don't know. It might say the impact is outside. They might say the impact is uh, outside the line. 
But uh, I would say it is by the end. I think it looks like it's possibly going to be going down the leg side. Here we have ball tracking. Ball pitches outside off. Hits him in line. But yeah, it's just going to be missing the stumps. Ah, that's annoying. Well, it wasn't as... It wasn't as... Uh, wasn't missing the stumps by as much as I thought it was. But uh, it was a, would have been a big wicket, which is why I did go for the challenge. Hopefully that doesn't come back to uh, bite us in the butt. Oh, and that's gone, and he's gone. There was definitely a nick there. And the umpire's given him. That was a fuller ball from us. And uh, Van der Dussen is nicked behind. And it looks like we've probably been more of a bowling asset to the wheelers than a... Uh, and a batting at it, but just an outside edge there. Oh, and the first ball's gone up in the air. Will it be caught? Oh, I think he's dropped it. I think he's dropped it. We could have had two in two there. Oh, we're going to have a look at the replay of that last ball. Let's just uh, let's slow this down. He was very. He was definitely inside the ropes. And it's Mitchell Stark. And oh, what a, what a calamity. If he had straightened up his run, he could have, we could have had two and two there. Yep. And, uh, oh, Brooks looks like he's going to get two boundaries off two balls there. We could have had him first ball. Mitchell Stark. The captain there, costing us. Oh, and this one's worked well by Kane Williamson. I think that'll be his half century. But they've gone on and won. They needed 41 from 30. And whilst, whilst Kane Williamson was there, that was always going to be possible. And there it is. They win by six wickets. Kane Williamson picking up the man of the match award there for his 69 off 40. We did get one for 30 off our, uh, off our overs. Um, but yeah, we just weren't able to post a high enough score only 163 and I think that's cost us again so the batting's costed us and uh, hopefully well I said I wanted to go 2-1 up we've gone 2-1 the other way uh, and our record is now one win and two losses so let's uh, let's address that in the next game well, well it looks like we've uh, been asked to join the Tigers yet again uh, for the upcoming JLT Sheffield which I kind of enjoyed playing for them it was interesting being the best player for them and their captain so I'm going to sign sign again with them um, and get some more uh, games in the diary. Um, they've asked us to be captain. Uh, I'm actually going to decline. Oh, I'm going to accept. Hmm, what shall I do? Uh, oh, I'm going to accept. I enjoyed being kind of captain just for one team. Um, but yeah, that's that's still further away. Before that, we've got another game here against the Bayonets, the Barbados Bayonets. And uh, as you can see there, we are fourth in the table with a win of one win and... Uh, two losses the bayonets are bottom i think they've only played one game though which is strange because uh, the team at the top have played four games so i'm not sure how the fixture stuff is working but we will jump into this game and uh, hopefully make it two wins and two losses
for three. Change of bowling. The captain is going with the spinner. the departing batsman out LBW for 34. The right-hander is coming into bat at number four. Change of 